Quit goofing off. You're supposed to be vacuuming. I'm just rubbing up the engine so it'll suck everything up real good. <laughs> We're supposed to be doing a good job, just like Mr. Belvedere would do, if he were doing it. I just hope he gets better soon. Mr. Belvedere? Mr. Belvedere? Mm-hmm. I'm back from the store. I got the stuff for dinner. That's a good lad. Yeah, I got, uh... Chicken, potatoes, lettuce, strawberry shortcake. So, uh, what should I do with it? Boil it. <laughs> Wesley, what are you doing? Making popcorn balls. For dinner? No, they're an hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> Come on, guys. Mom and Dad are gonna be home pretty soon. I don't think I can take much more of this. Hey, it's only been a couple days. Besides, you want to get Mr. Belvedere in trouble? Yeah, if Dad finds out he's been goofing off, playing that machine all the time, we'll probably fire him. Yeah, but this time he'll actually have a reason. <laughs> Mr. Belvedere? Hello. So, are you about ready to start dinner? In a bit. First, Mr. Belvedere is gonna go rest his fingers. Sure. Anybody see my pack of luckies? <laughs> The itsy bitsy spy up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. The itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Hello, children. Problem? Not us. Anything you want to talk about? Not really. Why? We're worried about you. Yeah, all you do is stand in front of that machine like some sort of zombie. Yeah, you're acting nutty. Children. <laughs> Maybe you need some time off, Mr. Belvedere. You know, like a vacation. Yeah, from us. I mean, we're always driving you crazy with our problems. And maybe we finally gave you that nervous breakdown you're always talking about. Here, I found a nice place where you can go. Brookside Manor. Lose your urges in tranquil park-like surroundings. <laughs> West, those places are for treating alcoholics and drug addicts. Well, if they take them, they should take Mr. Belvedere. Children, I appreciate your concern, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with me. So you always sit around doing itsy bitsy spider? No. Sometimes I sit around doing one potato, two potato. So what? And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner to prepare. <laughs> Pretty good popcorn balls, huh? Delicious. I think I lost the filling. Everybody ready for the main course? What is it? Sloppy Joe's. It's Western night. Oh, boy. Sorry I had to use tuna. <laughs> What's going on around here? In regard to what? Gee, I don't know, Tex. Let me just ladle some of this sloppy tuna on my popcorn <laughs> balls while I think about it. And what about the house? Nothing's put away. The laundry isn't done right, and the beds are all made funny. I'm doing my best. Heather. Well, she's always criticizing me, and she doesn't even know it's me. Heather, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, nothing. Come on, guys. We've been doing all Mr. Belvedere's work. What do you mean? Mr. Belvedere is a pinball junkie. <laughs> all he cares about is getting 100,000 and beating that stupid machine. Meanwhile, we've been covering for him, doing the cooking and the cleaning and making the beds funny. <laughs> this just doesn't sound like Mr. Belvedere. Hey, I've seen this happen before. Guys get so hooked on that little silver ball, they'll sell their mother for a free game. <laughs> Where have you seen that? Around. Oh. So, uh, you're not gonna fire Mr. Belvedere, are you? It is a thought. <laughs> George. Hey, it'll be okay. I'll handle it.
Going somewhere? Oh, oh George. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. What are you doing up? It's after midnight. Oh, I couldn't sleep. I had a bad dream. Oh, yeah. Mm, very bad. I dreamt I was falling from a great height while being eaten by sharks. <laughs> yeah, I hate that one. Look, uh, let me take you back upstairs, tuck you in, tell you a bedtime story, and you'll sleep like a baby. Another time, perhaps. Right now, I'm going to fix myself some warm milk and then toddle off to bed. Yeah, I'll have one along with you. Oh, you wouldn't want any. <laughs> it's goat's milk. Good night. <laughs> Where are you going? To milk the goat. <laughs> what do you want from me, George? Nothing. It's just if I didn't know better, I'd swear you were sneaking out to play that pinball machine. That's ridiculous. I'm just going outside to get a breath of fresh air. OK, I'll come with you. No, no, you can't. I mean, this is Pittsburgh. There's only so much fresh air to go around. <laughs> Morning, Wesley. Morning. We're out of cereal, milk, and eggs, and bread. Well, I'll get you something else in a minute. What? Well, just let me get in a game or two. Come on, Mr. Belvedere. Wesley, did I tell you I got 85,000 points last night? Uh-uh. See what you can accomplish when you apply yourself? Pretty soon, Mr. Belvedere is going to become king of the fire guards. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where's Mr. Belvedere? Just went into the garage. Uh -oh. Children, where's the machine? <laughs> what machine? Don't you what machine me, you little goody two-shoes. Where is it? <laughs> come on, come on, pinball machines. Just don't walk away. Dad got rid of it. What? Yeah, two men in white coats came and took it away. <laughs> You're lucky they didn't take you with it. <laughs> Where is it? We don't know. Honest. I was so close. So close. Wait. Wesley, that little kitty land I take you to, the one with the idiot goff. I bet they have the same machine in the arcade, right, Wesley? I don't remember. Oh, no matter, no matter. Oops, oops, it's time for school. Come along, everybody. Hurry, 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 hurry. Don't forget your books. Come along, Wesley. I forgot to make my lunch. Then eat in the cafeteria. All right, let me get some change from the cookie jar. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't take change. Here's a ten. <laughs> Children are so gullible. Thank you. Nah, it's my court. It means I got an excuse. That could be days from now. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait. Why don't you wait outside? Why don't you lose weight? What's your name, little boy? Who wants to know? The coroner. <laughs> In school, Wesley. It's four o'clock. Already? Hey, where's your watch? I sold it to some punk. I needed quarters. <laughs> Another 5,000? Oh, do it to me, baby. Do it to me. Hey, Mr. Belvedere. In a minute, in a minute. Come on, please. We can watch Masterpiece Theater. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, another 5,000 and I'll be king. <laughs> I tried talking to him. He won't listen to reason. Well, then maybe your father should try. Come on, Dad, if you don't talk to him, he may never come home. He does seem happy here. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> hey, Belvedere. George? <laughs> Look, Belvedere, the kids and everyone, all of us, were a little concerned. Out of my life, George. Sorry. Hey, look, let's say we head on home, I'll make us a nice, fresh pot of coffee, and then we'll... Whoa, do you know what your score is? Yes! 89,000 and climbing. <laughs> yeah, real good, but the house is kind of falling apart without you, and you got to admit you've been acting a little crazy. A okay, nice save. Thank you, George. I am not crazy, just determined. I want to be king. 
Yeah, well, that's real great, Your Majesty. Hey, come on, I'm gonna need some help. I would have defeated this little contraption days ago if it hadn't been for its tricks and devices. It never liked me. 95,000. 96,000. It's almost there. Get those targets. Get those targets. 97. 98. Mr. Belvedere, we love you. Wesley! Game's over, Mr. Belvedere. I'm not gonna look. 99,990. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Belvedere. Let's go home. I'll make you some hot chocolate. Yeah, I'll make you some Yorkshire pudding. Any flavor you want. <laughs> Mr. Belvedere, are you okay? I'm perfectly fine. I think I've taught everyone a valuable lesson. <laughs> Good morning, Wesley. Good morning. Are you normal? <laughs> I think so. Would you tell your brother and sister that breakfast is ready? Hey, Mr. Belvedere. Hey, Mr. Belvedere. Oh, hello. So what's for breakfast? Well, now, let's see. We have French toast for Heather, a Denver omelette for Kevin, mm -hmm. and for Wesley, blueberry pancakes with hot maple syrup. Oh, boy! You didn't have to go through all this trouble, Mr. Belvedere. Neither did you. Morning, gang. Bye, honey. Got to run, really running late. Mr. Belvin, you made everybody's favorite breakfast. George, hostess, honey buns. Hey! <laughs> I'm dieting. I know. <laughs> it's so nice to have you back again. It's nice to be back. And while I've got you all here, I'd like to apologize for my actions of the past few days. Yeah, you had us a little scared. Actually, eccentric behavior is sort of a trademark of us English. Oh, yeah? Rigid class structure. Everything and everyone in its place. So from time to time, we buckle under the pressure of our ingrained formality and go a little bonkers. Huh? I think the Falklands would be a good example. <laughs> and they thought we wouldn't fight for sheep. <laughs> Well, it's been a long day. It took me quite some time to put the house back in order after the children's noble and touching effort in my... <clears throat> absence. <laughs> Actually, it's amazing what havoc they wreaked in the space of 72 hours. It was like having Rambo as a housekeeper. <laughs> It's nice to know you're still needed.